<laughs> hey, this is my best buddy, Ron, my oldest buddy, oldest. Uh, he coming to town on vacation, and I'm going to put him to work, and he's going to help me out with get some of this project done. Done. We're going to finish it. Yeah. Then we're going to sell it. Yeah. Then we're going to make money. Yeah. 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 And then we're going to do another one. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Hi, everybody. Things are happening. Well, these bolts that hold the bed floor in, uh, I thought they were just, you could just punch them through the back and knock them out. I was, for whatever reason, I was thinking they were splined, I think because of the replacement parts, uh, but they're not. They're actually spot welded in like three places here, the head of this to the bed rail. Uh, so it's a little bit of a problem knocking those out. Try to knock them through with a punch, 
and all it did was flex it just enough to get a little gap where I can actually get my cutoff wheel in here and, and try to cut that head off. And then the stud will fall right out. But you gotta be kind of careful, they don't just pop out like I thought they would. Burning my ear hairs. What's that? I'm burning my ear hairs. Your ear hair? Ear hair. Nice. I think I'll have to drill these out a little bit more because these replacement studs that go in don't fit in every hole really good. Which they're basically basically just a stainless steel carriage bolt. So if I oversize that hole just a little bit. The points will dig into that without distorting it too bad. The way it is right now, I'm afraid it's going to distort that sheet metal as that button's going in. So we'll just do it that way. My good old buddy Ron, I'm polishing all these up for me. A nice one. So get those all. all Treat those with some rust treatment and put some sealer on them. They'll be good. <clears throat> so Ron worked these over really good. Went ahead and used that old rust mark. It's good stuff. Just gotta rinse them down and let them dry. We can shoot some primer on them, some of this rust reformer primer. It's awesome stuff. I really like it. Got all the struts for the fenders. These two, and even the fender braces we got. Ron got them all cleaned up really nice. So we'll get those all washed down really good, dried, and paint those things. And we'll have those ready. Ron saved me a lot of time with this stuff. Ain't that right, buddy? So Ron had to take off. He got it all stripped down for me. I did all the hard work. Uh, so after treating them, painted them, got them ready to go. So now when I get back on the box, when I go to install this stuff, it's ready. Thanks for your help, Ron. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you later.